Good morning, and welcome to another segment of the Wharf Report for March 31st. Keep America vigilant. To only three. 34 counts, apparently. CNN is reporting that the bogus indictment of Donald Trump involves more than 30 counts related to business fraud, as DeSantis vows not to cooperate with any extradition requests. Mark Levin unloads with the best response to this outrageous news yet. QAnon shaman Jacob Chansley is released to a halfway house. Disney appears to have outmaneuvered DeSantis just weeks before he signed the law, stripping them of their governmental authority. The Senate votes to end the COVID-19 emergency. Shasta County, California supervisors have voted to use paper ballots in future elections. And the Arizona House joins the state Senate in passing an election resolution that bypasses the governor's office. First to President Trump, who has been indicted by an extremely corrupt and partisan grand jury in New York at the hands of the Soros district attorney in Manhattan, Alvin Bragg. CNN is reporting via more anonymous sources that Trump was indicted yesterday on more than 30 counts related to business fraud. Bragg issued a statement last night stating, quote, This evening, we contacted Mr. Trump's attorney to coordinate his surrender to the Manhattan DA's office for arraignment on a Supreme Court indictment, which remains under seal. Guidance will be provided when the arraignment date is selected. This man needs to be disbarred and then arrested. As we reported before, he downgrades felonies in New York to misdemeanors, then trumps up a ridiculous misdemeanor to a felony for Trump. Every single prosecutor funded by George Soros must be removed, folks. This is a line they never should have crossed. It is outrageous. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy stated, quote, Alvin Bragg has irreparably damaged our country in an attempt to interfere in our presidential election. As he routinely frees violent criminals to terrorize the public, he weaponized our sacred system of justice against President Donald Trump. The American people will not tolerate this injustice, and the House of Representatives will hold Alvin Bragg and his unprecedented abuse of power to account. Maybe it's time for we the people to stop relying on a corrupt and tyrannical government and utilize the power our forefathers gave us, which is to overthrow a tyrannical government. Ron DeSantis also issued a statement saying, quote, The weaponization of the legal system to advance a political agenda turns the rule of law on its head. It is un-American. The Soros-backed Manhattan District Attorney has consistently bent the law to downgrade felonies and to excuse criminal misconduct. Yet now, he is stretching the law to target a political opponent. Florida will not assist in an extradition request given the questionable circumstances at issue with this Soros-backed Manhattan prosecutor and his political agenda. But perhaps the best response came from Mark Levin, who perfectly hit the nail on the head with a nuclear truth bomb that should fire up every American. Take a look. From this point on, we're not allowed to say or show you what we're about to on this platform, or we'll almost certainly be punished for it. For those of you that have been with us from the beginning, you know that YouTube had previously labeled our content as, quote, harmful to the public, and nearly banned us permanently on at least two separate occasions. So please, Join us for the rest of this segment at theworfreport.com where we can say exactly what we want without fear of censorship, suppression, or the banning of our account for only $1.99 a month or $15 a year. But hurry, because this pricing will be gone forever next month. But for those of you already subscribed, your price will never change. And for all the trolls out there who don't like our business model, no need to comment. Just keep scrolling. We clearly have our reasons. For everyone else, your support helps us do what we do. See you there.